Hey, Aquarius. All right. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, it is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. In fact, do not just watch your Sun sign. Always watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign video. They're the three energies that are going to impact you the greatest, and you should know about them all. This is not a time-sensitive reading. I encourage you to look through the playlists to find the message that calls to you. Um, there's so much material for you here and on Vimeo, which is where I house the extended videos. There's always an extended video to each and every single reading. What they are is an almost personal um, extension of the reading, but it gets into very for de details and specifics. And then there's romance reading over there in the same video. And then also I've added a sensual erotic tarot um piece to the whole extended as well um because i i can be very uncensored over there so i do invite you to come over it's the best way to support the channel and you get a heck of a video of a reading as well so um Please do, if you love this video, be sure to like it and share it on your social media platforms. Also, Aquarius, please subscribe to the channel. You can hit that little uh, rectangle below and then ring that bell and choose all notifications. I upload Aquarius Tarot along with Capricorn Tarot and Pisces Tarot every single uh, Wednesday um, before 6 a.m. So... There's a lot of content here and on my second channel, Astrology Motivation. Do check that out as well. Hopefully you'll subscribe over there. I go live over there on Mondays and I go live Monday through Friday on Instagram. I'd love to hear your voice on either one of those platforms. You can find me on Instagram at born underscore without underscore boundaries. So this is some good opportunities, nice opportunities, and it could even be some happy messages or um, happy times that are happening abroad. It could be news about travel or information about travel coming in. Good news about travel, like, oh, you won plane ticket. Not really necessarily you won something, Aquarius, but this is definitely like you're happy you went somewhere or people are welcoming when you travel. So this is um, a good time to go places because there's a lot of joy that it could bring into your life. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Yeah. Aquarius, please. Aquarius energy. The shadow self comes out, um, comes out in the past. Confronting your shadow is the bravest thing anybody can do. It's also the most empowering thing anybody can do because once you've confronted your shadow, A, nobody can throw shit up to your face, right? Nobody can gain control over you. And your life feels you're together because your shadow is a part of you. Um, the shadow side of yourself is as much yourself as the, sh the self that you show publicly or that hits the light, right? It's the light and the dark, the yin and the yang. It's the balance that really creates happiness. So gathering up that shadow self is really an empowering and healthy move to make you more balanced. This also means that you knew that there was some sort of work that you had to do in terms of self-acceptance, accepting all of yourself, um, something that was more true to you, who you are. Everything's coming out in the past here, um, looking at your heart and where your heart lay. And maybe you had kept that hidden. It was a part of yourself that you had, had not wanted to share. Lots of times as humans, we do this. We allow our ego or our pride or our hurt feelings or bad upbringing, right? To convince us that there are parts of us that nobody could love. And there are parts of us that um, we have to hide away from everybody. And that's just such a horribly self-abusive lie. So what this is telling me is you were hiding your heart. You felt some sort of shame, but it's your heart. Your heart telling you what to do is basically you hearing God's voice inside of you. So to um, so there, any kind of related or associated shame severs you, splits you, unbalances you, makes you, puts you in a very unhealthy position. And then we have authority. So defying authority, not trusting authority, or feeling like authority, or whatever the, the traditional value system just didn't work for you. So um, 
and and maybe in some ways there was like um I don't know in reverse it could mean that you felt diminished you felt subservient to somebody um you felt like you weren't good enough um and that definitely could be a part of it but most of the time it's like defy authority you don't want to do the traditional thing right you want you you want to rebel so this could this has that very uranian energy of but i i don't want to do what's expected of me um my heart is to challenge my heart there is is seeking to challenge preconceived notions or concepts or social constructs of what is right and wrong and this is kind of that mentality of course that is coming up in your past so hopefully we'll see what does this all have to do with maybe this is why you're happy that you're traveling or that you've gone somewhere there's good news um maybe good news from abroad that's really interesting okay i don't know how that plays in but let's go with it Ah, luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So within this energy, Aquarius energy, um, wow, when you aim that arrow, it's almost like, it, yeah, luck is on your side. What is, what kind of luck is on your side? Don't let your past hold you back. This is the time to take aim at what your heart is truly pushing you toward or or calling it's a calling uh, where your heart is truly calling you to it's time to escape the south node ironically the south node is in Sagittarius right now but it's almost like now you know the direction to go and even though this is where you start it's not where you're going to end up you don't want to be in the same place also Sagittarius is travel this is a great time to travel Aquarius this is your sign if you were looking for a sign you got it right here. This is a great time to step out of your comfort zone. Maybe go place and explore something. Go places, explore something that places that you've never been before. Um, I think you're also going to hit the target here. Almost like Cupid's arrow. There's a sense of maybe maybe something, just, just trying something new. Trying out somebody new that, that maybe is unlike somebody or anything that you've experienced before Aquarius just, just trying out something completely different all right but oh seasons of the heart so there's a fear of change that it could even be the person is a little bit blocked or guarded from change because they're afraid of change but you caught their attention Seasons of the heart reminds us that everything changes. And even though it may feel weird, we're not supposed to stay the same. It's a reminder to be emboldened by that heart calling you to want to try something different, want to explore someplace different, you know, want to date somebody different. The differences are growth. They're a natural part of life. So even though Uranus is always held up to be, you know, the rebel, the person who challenges the norm, it's like, you know what? That's actually the most normal thing in the world, change. You know, spring challenges the winter and then summer comes to challenge the spring and fall challenges the summer. And then of course, winter takes over the fall and it goes around in cycles. But these seasons remind us that things aren't meant to stay the same as comforting as the idea is that things will stay the same. Nope. Listen to your heart. And here you have it. This is beautiful luck when you're listening to your heart when you follow your heart right now. It's like you're going to hear your heart loud and clear Aquarius. It will not be subtle. So listening to your heart is essential right now. There's some sort of conflict here that you've had trouble resolving. But this is the key. 911 I just saw. You might need help. You might need a little bit of help. That's, you know, usually what it means when I see 911. You might want to call for help because you will get it here. Um, the resolution is it's far, it's far from resolved. Um, the secret to the resolution is, because the resolution is it's in reverse, the secret to the resolution to resolving any issue that you're dealing with is listen to your heart. In other words, you already know the answer. Why are you fighting yourself on it? I don't know. Sagittarius. This is the uh, Tarot of Sexual Magic. I can't show you the images until we get over to the extended, at which time I will do a full spread for you. 
with the cards. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to give the wrong impressions. <laughs> uh, 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 you know, we don't, we don't get we don't get we don't go we don't get like that over in the extended. But let's see what comes out. Ah, you're taking a lot of responsibility. We have the 10 of wands. You know, you're taking a lot of responsibility on yourself and somebody's happy to give it to you, but you're also taking the bull by the horns. This is like, yeah, I'm taking I'm taking all the responsibility because I want it I want to make this move. I want to make this happen. You're just going all in, even though there's extra pressure that's been added. Ooh, this is like, this is six of wands, 10 of wands. You know exactly what it is you want. You don't care whatever the work you have to do. You're so passionate about something. You're just, you're going to go for it. It is, um, it is, a. uh, a, an ambitious move for you, but nobody's going to talk you out of it with this energy. And then you have the queen of pentacles. So there could be somebody who is very desirable, but she just may be not like there's, there's, um, a little bit more conservative or she keeps to herself, or this is just the energy of somebody who is a boss, somebody who is professional. So I don't know if you're reaching or striving to connect with somebody who is professional or is a professional of some sort. Um, in your career, um, this is a good time to reach out to them, even though it seems like a long shot. Um, or Aquarius, this is definitely the time to um, kind of like value yourself above all else. And if you want it, go for it. Okay, I'll show you those cards later. Let's get a little bit more information on Aquarius for you. I just saw 11, 1144. There's a lot of synchronicities. Aquarius, please. What is what is all this? Like, I feel like you're, oh, you might want or desire the attention or affection of an authority figure. Even, or it's like, it's almost like something is forbidden, but you want it anyway. Moving forward, get ready for positive change. And that's coming up in the past. This is beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen this card come out before and it's come out for you. So this is moving for forward. Um, and I guess you did. You took the initiative to sort of open yourself up. See how ice cold she is? This is very Aquarian energy. To be more fiery, to add fire, to bring passion, to to be, to like follow your passion and get out of the this cold place where everything is predictable and, um, and controllable. Um, but it's almost like an avoidance of life. So moving away from that to really where your heart space is has opened up has opened you up and in opening yourself up opened up so many possibilities um no let's get these cards aquarius aquarius yeah this is sort of forbidden could very it could just be forbidden 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 i feel confident it's the only card that comes out but you are bold in your certainty that you deserve or can get, and you can. According to these cards, you absolutely can get what you want. You can get what you want, especially somebody desiring you or feeling or being passionate about you. Okay, okay. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius, it's a good time to make a move, man. Aquarius, Aquarius. All right, all right, all right. This deck is yelling at me, man. It's just sometimes too many cards come out with this deck. But what are they saying? What do you need to say? Aquarius, this is in reverse. Seek an expert. It's almost like, but you didn't. You didn't seek an expert. Um, reclaim your art is here. <clears throat> you know, I have to say this. It's almost like you tried to go about things in an, in a weird way. It's like you didn't want to do it, go through an authority figure. You wanted to <clears throat> avoid authority as much as you could, Aquarius, or you didn't want to hear an expert opinion. You just kind of wanted to sort of like go and create your own. 
that kind of energy. Hmm. 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 So this is coming up way in the past, but it's telling me take bite-sized steps. I feel like, I gotta say, I think this is a block. The one thing you haven't done is admit that you need a teacher. You need a teacher. If there's a block, it's because you lack expertise. It's, it's one thing to be creative and it's one thing to have potential and talent. It's another thing to have the skill that matches the talent. This is where your block is. Maybe it's pride. Whatever it is, fuck it. Get it out of your way. And you can. If you really, really, really want to want to reclaim that artistic aspect of yourself, go and get advice from somebody. Get something edited take lessons. It's like humble yourself enough to the love of something to not have to be perfect. Maybe that's what it is. It's like, I don't have to be perfect at something. Maybe you don't even want to be a professional at it. You just want to be able to enjoy it and have fun. But I'm feeling a little bit more of a competitive edge to you. And this is a time to sort of consult somebody about something to take it like it's almost like you've come as far as you can go by yourself now you've got to hire somebody that can teach you to do it at a higher level that's what i'm getting right now i don't know why i'm getting that i don't know why i'm hearing it but aquarius 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 remember guys Oh, I think I already went, went, went over the announcements with you, right? This is a time to receive. Yeah, that's what it is. Time to receive teaching, like allow yourself to be taught. That's what this energy is coming in as. It's like, it's time for you to be an open book about something and, and sort of be fearless and bold in your ignorance, not claiming that you, you aren't ignorant, but say, yeah, I want to know more. Teach me. Like a teacher. Higher power. You're receiving something from a higher power. You could be getting a spiritual download. Okay. Okay. What is this? This spiritual download here. What is going on? Aquarius. This, this, this is somebody who didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. Spewing their, like being exposed almost, coming to the surface. Like somebody who is very confident in the way that they speak, but they really didn't know what they were talking about. And, and I don't think it's you, but it's, it's, it's like, it's like, um, It's about learn. Oh. It's almost like you had a hard time getting people to listen to you. It's like you had a hard time getting people to appreciate you or see you, at least in the way that you wanted to be seen. And clearly you trusted somebody with secrets that you really shouldn't have. Or you, you, it's like you're keeping too much to yourself. You're not sharing. This is 11. Why would you close yourself off to this? This is what I'm wondering. Why would you close yourself off? There's downloads that want to come into you. 
and you don't want to share them. You don't want to talk about them. That's what's going on. You don't, you don't want to tell anybody. You're keeping this to yourself. No, nope, this just doesn't want to come out for you. You're keeping this to yourself, but what is this? This is still sort of like this big old enigma. I think you want to be an enigma. You like it. You like the idea of being an enigma. Of people not being able to figure you out. You don't want people to figure you out. You don't want people to figure you out. Um, tiger's eye. Self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. And that's a good circumnavigation of any kind of self-esteem issues. It's like, I love that God loves me. And I know that God is in me. And I love that God in me. So, so I'm going to support me. You know? Um, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Maybe you can't take a leap of faith in yourself or in somebody else. But you can take a leap of faith in, I've been getting these signs and synchronicities. And maybe that's the downloads that you've been receiving. But you just haven't talked about it to anybody. I don't think you want anybody to know. And then we have, be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. And then healthy communication in relationships. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. Okay. Finally, like, I want to open up. I'm ready to talk to you. I'm ready. I know that I'm strong now that whatever happens, I'm not going to be crying about it for a month. I know that I can get through this. I'm good. What I'm not good with is not having certain questions unanswered. And so I'm going to go into this with you. And you're going to go into it with me. And we're going to work through it and figure it out. Because really, I feel like I'm feeling your frustration. You don't want the enigma. You are kind of sick and tired of the enigma. You want answers. What you've realized is to get those answers, you gotta allow, allow yourself to be vulnerable, but it's worth it. It's worth it to be peaceful. It's like that vulnerability is essential, a necessary, a necessary evil, but not evil, because it's strengthening you. Embrace the in-between. This is Libra energy embracing change this transitional period embracing the fact that right now you on shaky legs stop judging yourself you don't know everything you're trying to know more and this is a time of learning so stop judging yourself for being imperfect be peace this is more libra energy finding balance this could be you dealing with a libra overcome any obstacle that's reassuring and this is any obstacle in the 3D, right? Because this is Taurus energy. Maybe you're overcoming financial obstacles. But it's like, no, overcome any obstacle. Your change, like it, this change, you can overcome it. You will get through this. Uh, trust the great mystery. Just dump in, dive in. This is where your faith comes in. Dive in and know that you, you know how to swim well enough and you will learn. Reclaim your power through faith. Faith is going to lead you back to feeling powerful, set healthy boundaries. Oh my God. It's easy to set healthy boundaries when you follow your heart because you know so clearly what's right and wrong for you. But when you're not following your heart, this is where we get boundaries that barricade us in and cut off our opportunities or let people flood us with their emotions. Believe in yourself. This is Virgo energy. Planting a seed for the future. Making an investment in yourself, in your future. Also in your health. Pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. See, logic says this is impossible. But your heart says when pigs fly, it will happen. And then you have hummingbird, be here now. This reminds us to be joyful and appreciate the moment at hand. And the beauty of the small things. 
Maybe that will make it a little bit easier. Use your mind wisely. Use your mind wisely. Focus on the now. Look at the now. Look at what's in front of you. Start there and believe. Be inspired. You may not have the answers yet, but you just went another step closer to them. Interesting. All right, you know what? I'm going to do these over in the extended Aquarius. Please come on over. There's a lot more to get into. I will see you guys over in the extended. Bye.